And we begin tonight with the federal government slowly coming back to life amid new concerns that the president, who just ended the longest government shutdown in history, may soon shut the government down again. The president signaling clashes ahead in a series of tweets after signing that three-week reprieve without receiving any money for his border wall. Some 800,000 workers and their families whose income had ground to a standstill head back to work, but this all may be short-lived as new anxiety begins over what will happen next. ABC White House correspondent Tara Palmieri starts us off. Tonight, with the government open for less than 24 hours, the president already warning it could close again. After signing a spending bill to fund the government for just three weeks, Trump tweeting, 21 days goes very quickly. Negotiations with Democrats will start immediately. Will not be easy to make a deal. Both parties very dug in. We will build the wall. A threat echoed at the end of his Rose Garden remarks. If we don't get a fair deal from Congress, the government will either shut down on February 15th again, or I will use the powers afforded to me under the laws and the Constitution of the United States to address this emergency. President Trump stating he could declare a national emergency, bypassing Congress to build his wall, something Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi is insisting Democrats won't budge on. Have I not been clear on a wall? Okay. No, I have been very clear on the wall. Pelosi scoring a political victory over Trump, who reopened the government without getting any of his $5.7 billion for the wall. He's now facing backlash from conservatives for failing to deliver on a key campaign promise. We're building that wall. We will build the wall. The wall is going to be built 100%. He promised something for 18 months, and he lied about it. 800,000 federal employees will return to work after struggling for over a month, missing two paychecks, now worried they'll be in the same position in a few weeks. They're going to try to do in three weeks what they can do in five weeks. So any one of us that ask her, what do you think is going to happen? They're going to shut down the government again. That's what we all think. They're going to do it again. You know, all because what? A vanity wall? All right, Tara Palmieri at the White House tonight. Tara, the clock is ticking. That last worker we just heard from in your report doesn't seem confident they're going to figure this out for the long term. What are Republican and Democratic leaders pledging to do right now? Well, Tom, a bipartisan group of lawmakers will hold a conference committee to try to find some sort of compromise on border security. In the meantime, the White House will continue to promote a border wall and try to pick off rank and file Democrats. But Tom, sources tell me that while the president can let the, shut, the government shut down again in a few weeks, it's more likely that he'll call a national emergency. They have a draftable plan ready to go. Tom? Which would be another major development in all of this. The clock is ticking, as we said. All right, Tara, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.